Oxford Discover, Student Book Three, by Kathleen Campa and Charles Valina, published and copyrighted by Oxford University Press. Page one hundred eight, Unit Eleven. Get ready. Words. A. Listen and read the words. Listen again and say the words. Cello. Timpani. Trombone. Bassoon. Orchestra. Conductor. Baton. Astronaut. Circus trainer. Scientist. Page one hundred ten. Read. Mystery in the gym. There's a poster on the wall at school. Surprise guest today at two o'clock in the gym. Lisa, who do you think it could be? I think it's an astronaut, says Marco. You don't know who it is, I say. Nobody knows who it is because it's a mystery. Marco blows bubbles into his milk through a straw. I try hard not to laugh. He makes a face at me, and when I'm sure he's looking, I cross my eyes. I read in a magazine that if you close your eyes, you can hear things more clearly. If we close our eyes, maybe we can hear things in the next room. I tell Marco. The gym is next to the lunch room, so I'm going to listen and find out who the special guest is. I close my eyes. I hear a low, deep, booming sound, but I have no idea what it could be. It sounds like thunder. I tell Marco. Maybe it's a scientific machine for making thunderstorms or something. The mystery guest must be a scientist. I want to listen, Marco says. He closes his eyes and tries to listen too. I hear the sound of a loud trumpet call. Marco tells me with confidence. There is an elephant in the gym. The mystery guest is obviously a circus trainer. A trumpeting elephant is more deafening than that. I tell Marco. I like to use big words like trumpeting and deafening in front of Marco. I listen again. There is a humming, buzzing sound that makes me feel warm right down to my toes. I hear a hum. I exclaim. It sounds like lots of bees. The mystery guest is a beekeeper. No, it isn't. Marco declares. He closes his eyes even tighter. I'm positive this time. He tells me. I hear an enormous hungry cow. The mystery guest is a farmer and his giant cow. What are you talking about? There is no hungry cow noise. Yes, there is. Marco argues. He takes a deep breath and shouts, "Moo!" Suddenly, the school bell rings, and we both realize that it is already two o'clock. It's time to see the special guest. Marco and I race each other to the gym and look inside the door. Wow! This is so cool. Marco yells, "How exciting!" I agree, smiling. There is no machine that makes weather. No elephant, no bees, and no hungry cow. We see a man in a long, fancy black jacket holding a thin white baton. All around him are musicians playing timpani, drums, bassoons, cellos, trombones, and many more instruments. They're musical instruments, Marco and I say at the same time. The conductor hears us. He turns around and says, "Welcome to the orchestra." 
Page 113. Grammar in Use. D. Listen and read along. The guys in this magazine are smarter than I am. They're also more talented than I am. Being a good friend is more important than those things. You're right, and I am the most wonderful friend in the world. Page 114. Listening. A. Listen. Match each name with a voice. In classical music, there are five main kinds of voices. Soprano, alto, tenor, baritone, and bass. Let's listen to each one. Hello, I'm Anna. I'm a soprano. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. A soprano is the highest female voice. Hello, I'm Justine. I'm an alto. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. An alto is also a female voice, but it is lower than a soprano. Hello, I'm Ken. I'm a tenor. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. A tenor is the highest male voice. Hello, I'm Roberto. I'm a baritone. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Of all the male voices, the baritone is the most common. Hello, I'm Thomas. I'm a bass. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. As you may guess, the bass is the lowest male voice. Page 114. B. Listen again. Match each word with a definition. In classical music, there are five main kinds of voices. Soprano, alto, tenor, baritone, and bass. Let's listen to each one. Hello, I'm Anna. I'm a soprano. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. A soprano is the highest female voice. Hello, I'm Justine. I'm an alto. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. An alto is also a female voice, but it is lower than a soprano. Hello, I'm Ken. I'm a tenor. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. A tenor is the highest male voice. Hello, I'm Roberto. I'm a baritone. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Of all the male voices, the baritone is the most common. Hello, I'm Thomas. I'm a bass. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. As you may guess, the bass is the lowest male voice. Page 114. Speaking. C. Learn. Comparative questions. There are many ways to ask how two things are different or the same. Is the trombone as big as the cello? No, it isn't. Is a soprano voice higher or lower than an alto? It's higher than an alto. Is our classroom as big as the one next door? No, it isn't. It's smaller. Is your bag bigger or smaller than my backpack? My bag is smaller.